Lesson five, internet basics. The internet can be an intimidating place for a first time user. With so much information out there and so many websites, it can be hard to know where to start. Fortunately, getting up and running on the internet doesn't have to be complicated. Let's break down the basics of navigating the online world into three simple steps. Connecting to the internet, using a web browser, and searching for information. Connecting to the internet. The first step in navigating the internet is connecting to it. To do this, you need an internet connection. Once you have a connection set up with your service provider, you can access the internet by plugging in an ethernet cable to your router or by setting up a wireless connection directly from your computer using a web browser. Once you're connected to the internet, you need a way of viewing websites and other content online. This is where web browsers like Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox come in handy. Web browsers allow you to view websites quickly and easily on your computer or mobile device. They also usually include features like bookmarks, which make it easy to save sites that you visit frequently, tabs, which allow you to visit multiple sites at once, and private browsing, which allows you to surf anonymously, also known as incognito, searching for information online. Now that you're connected and have a browser ready to go, it's time to find some information. Search engines like Google are one of the best ways of finding what you're looking for online because they use algorithms that search through billions of web pages quickly and accurately. All you have to do is type in your keywords or question into the search bar at the top of your browser window, like, how do I connect my printer? And hit enter. You will then be shown a list of relevant results from which you can choose what best fits your needs. Takeaway. Now that we've gone over the basics of connecting, browsing, and searching online, it's time for you to get out there and start exploring. With just these three steps under your belt, connecting, browsing with a web browser, and searching for information, you're well on your way towards being an experienced navigator of cyberspace. So don't wait any longer. Dive in headfirst into all that awaits you on the World Wide Web. In the next lesson, we'll be taking a look at online safety.